Good evening. My name is Silke Kaiser and I conduct polygraph testing. The reason I'm doing this video tonight is to talk about farm attacks. I've had the great honour of working on farm attacks polygraphing when a farm attack has been planned or in the unfortunate event when it has taken place already. I work with a gentleman called Lucas Swart and he has a system whereby he gains information when an attack is planned through NPMPs, which is another word for informants. When a farm attack is planned, from the minute it is planned, there is a person that watches that farm. We call that person the watcher in the woods. The people that commit the actual attack, they call themselves the head squad. And the employees who are planning or who do plan the attack with the head squad are known as the contact people. All farm attacks are inside jobs without fail. Not all employees are involved. It is very rare for that to happen. However, at, on every single farm attack, at least one employee will be involved, and often, unfortunately, it has been the person that is closest to the farmer. The way that a farmer can keep himself and his family safe are as follows. Firstly, dogs should be kept inside. This is a must. If your dogs act strangely, growling, going from window to window, you probably have a strange animal outside, or you have the head squad that are sitting outside watching you. Also, check your windows. A lot of farm attacks that I've attended to, the point of entry has been a bathroom window or a kitchen window, but in particular a bathroom window. Before you go to bed at night, make sure that all your windows are closed. Do have security. Also, let's say you have somebody working in your house, a lady for example. About a year ago, I attended to a farm attack where it was planned and luckily we were able to stop that farm attack. That lady started closing the curtains at about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. In other words, she was alerting the farmer, you are being watched at this time. They are looking through your windows. If the farm attack is going ahead, let's say now the head squad have decided this is the date and the time, all farm attacks are meticulously planned, more about that just now. If that farm attack is going ahead, this is normally what happens. The head squad will either set off your robo guard or they will knock on a window, or they will set something alight on your farm, the seeds or the hay or your store. Under no circumstances should a farmer go out if that occurs, because that means there's a farm attack that's going to happen. Get onto the radio and call your farm watch and let those people come and assist you. The head squad, those people are cowards. Their safety and security is paramount. So if they know that you are aware of them, they will run. Also, when we go there and we, when I start polygraphing, it means I'm scratching in their plan. It normally stops the attack. As I said, all farm attacks are meticulously planned. The murder, the rape, the robbery is planned already. It's pre-planned. It has been decided between the contact people, the employees, and the head squad, which are the people who come and commit the actual crime. However... If one person in the head squad changes their mind about the rape, the murder, or the torture, they will all change their mind. This is because an absolute unshakable belief in witchcraft in South Africa with the South African farm workers. Often as well, they will include Zimbabweans because in their mind, the Zimbabweans are better educated. So often you will find that the head squad consists of South Africans and of Zimbabweans. And another thing that you need to watch out for, farmers please, are the workers that are befriending your dogs. The worker that encourages your dog to jump up on his chest and he makes eye contact with that dog. In most cases he's planning something. I've written a book about this and I interviewed farm attackers. And as I said, I've attended to about 300 farm attacks where it was either planned or in the unfortunate event where it's occurred. I do know what I'm talking about and I hope that this keeps some of you safe. God bless you all. Good night.